Look at them. Look at them ramming me. Uh, yeah, I think we need to do a bit of uh, emergency repairs here. Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. I am uh, super excited to show you this. So this is a game called Void Ship. It's by a uh, studio called Sidonian Games. They sent me a, um, a, a key for this, which is always welcome. I always like it when developers send me a key for something without me having to beg for a key. Now, um, this is a top-down combat strategy game with elements of shipbuilding, uh, F not quite FTL, but it's got like a sector-based system in it, which I'll show you in a minute. And it's really cool. So you've got crew, you've got upgrades. It's fun. It's really early. It's out in 2019. So this is like a, I think it's like classed as a pre-alpha demo. So yeah, excited to show you it. Right. So first of all, I can name my ship. Now I can call it what I want. I can call it, uh, you know... HMS Yar, or I can press this, the Unstoppable Dawn, the Methuselah, the Val Valiant Storm, Patience, Starbreaker Endless, that sounds like a good one, let's do that one. Okay, so we're going through the tutorial just to show you the game. Now, this is the star map view, so um, early on in the game there's only one star map, there's only one we can go to, but if we, l if we look around a little bit, the projected size of the game tickles my fancy. That does look rather nice. So look, we've got, oh, look at there, the Haken, enemy, the cult of Adam. I hate that cult. The cult of Adam. And then we've got scavenger. We've got, ooh, no intel, no void gate. Uh, scavengers. We've got hostile Terran. We've got four, enemy cult of Adam again. Uh, hostile Terran. Right, so each of these stars marks a star system full of planets, enemy bases, and other encounters. And the named star systems are where the story takes place, but all star systems are visible. So I think that's this one. Um, travel time, zero years. Now that's an important thing to look at, travel time. 18 years, 13 years. Now, I've not seen this before in a game, I don't know how it's going to work, but apparently you have crew, which I can show you in here. No, I can't. We're not unlocked yet, yet. But you have crew, and you do have to keep replacing your crew because it, that'll take 28 years to travel there, and the, the crew apparently don't sleep, and your crew can actually die of old age. <laughs> I've not had that happen yet, but that sounds a cool little twist. Okay, so name star systems are where the story takes place. All star systems visible. We will guide your ship to the first star system now. Okay, so we're going in here. Here we go. And this is our star system. So this is a star system map. All these squares are different sectors in the star system. Each sector contains either an enemy encounter, resources, or other events. So red is an enemy encounter. Green is like an allied uh, base or something. Um, these other ones are like resource fields, the orangey ones. Uh, that's another enemy thing. Uh, we've got an exit gate there, and that's where we've... I think we're coming here. Okay, place your mouse near the edge of the screen to scroll the map. Yeah, we have done. Uh, core crew missing, movement disabled. Yeah, okay, so you can move to the sectors next to the next one by clicking on them, but I, I, I do need to do my crew first, so what we'll do, press continue. Let's open the crew menu. Okay, so we'll press that, press this. Right, now here's my crew. So this is a crew mem member, and we can assign the crew to different positions. All the crew give us different bonuses, which is quite interesting because these are all actually different than the perks I had last time. So you can discover how this all works later. First pick crew members from the left and move them to each of the positions. Let's do continue for that. Now you have your crew assigned. Close this screen and move your ship to the first yellow square. Right. So the crew members here have abilities. So I can see this one here. He's got an ability drain, which is 500 points to use. Uh, this one's got the repair ability. And you've got the ability fighter pilot. So if we drag them into the different slots, they'll have different abilities. So say if we put this one in here, it doesn't really give you any active bonuses over here. And if we put you over there, still none. And there, uh, you can see we've moved you into the captain slot. So I think it's to do with the colours. So if you look over here, the colours on the top. So this one's purple. So if we move it in there, it's active ability. So this one here, let's have a little look at you. I think you're yellow, so I should be able to move you into the engineer slot. 
and we should see repair pop up over here. Okay, and this last one is... What are you? You're purple, so this should not really do anything down here. Oh, it does. We've got using the uh, drain ability. Okay. Okay, we'll close that down, and we'll go to the next sector. Okay. You've learned of the enemy's plans and make it to one of their small outposts. Your fight against them begins here. Let's approach the base. You're in scanning range. The enemy bases, uh, well, the enemy bases uh, go online. As I said, this is early, so this is all uh, work in progress stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's why it's saying about the testers. Okay, right, now we get to the fun part. So, we get to the combat. So, there's two ways of controlling your ship. So, we can right-click to move like this. Oh, look, I can zoom in. I can zoom in and see my ship. It's so good. Uh, yeah, so we can zoom in like that. You can hold down the right mouse button and choose which way you want your ship to face. So, say if I want to uh, slide over here, slide into the DMs over here, I want to face this way. I can do that. So, we will navigate to that point and face that way. Whereas, if I want to face this way, we go like that. We navigate. We spin it around. Nice. Um... You can also control it manually. So if we press C, we can do manual controls. Now if we do C like this, we fly it around like this. And use the mouse to shoot. So you can zoom in right using the buttons at the top right of the screen. So you can zoom right out here. As you can see, the weapons only have a certain uh, effect, radius. So it all depends on what you want to what, what you want to do. So we've got our initial thing, we've got an IO bomb which is like basically an EMP. Uh, I'm going to go back to manual control, well, RTS mode. Right, click on the buttons uh, there, or the corresponding keyboard numbers to launch ion bombs or other special weapons. So that'll be one to launch that. So we might be able to do that in a bit. And um, we've also got the fighter pilot ability. Ooh. Right, so let's go... Let's go past that tutorial. Right, so this, this is actually the enemy base over here. Right, click on the buttons to launch uh, your abilities such as repair. So we have got Sabotage. Oh, we've got Drain. So what we can do is, we're pressing pause and we're actually pausing the game. Now if you hover over the enemy, this is what the station is. So this station is composed of, it's got a light mass driver, low damage and relatively slow aim. It's got a linkage module there. It's got the headquarters, which is a hub. It's got another light, well it's got a light plasma bolt there. Fast targeting, low damage, low speed, and it's got a point defense gun there. So that's intercepts fighters and missiles. So I've got my EMP. So what I can do is I can go, I think that's going to be a hostile thing, this plasma bolt. So what I will do, I'll click on my plasma, my uh, EMP, and we're going to just nuke the lot. The radius should affect all of it. Now while I'm paused, I can say I want to go over here. And you can click on an individual thing as well. So I want to target that. Now we'll, we'll we'll go past it. Right here we go. You should see the uh, the bomb come out there. There you go. Okay. Now he's disabled. Now I can use some of my other stuff. So let's do drain. So he's got no energy at the moment in that that unit there. So let's try this. Um, click on battlefield to launch a fighter. So let's uh, launch a fighter from the ship. Here we go. That's going to fight for me now. Now, I am targeting just now. If we pause it, you can see it's got 750 uh, health. And I am targeting just that one module. Now, you can get damage. So, if we look at this here, you can see I'm doing okay at the moment. I can do a bit of repair, though. So, let's do repair, repair my fusion drive. There you go. A little instant uh, repair. Now that ion bomb, bomb is charging up again. So let's pick the next thing to shoot at. Let's shoot at the point defense. Shoot it in the face. Okay, so we just need to basically destroy this. Yeah, we've done we've done this bit of tutorial. Right, so we just we just need to destroy this base now, which we are doing slowly. There you go. Now once you destroy bits, you can start nipping in and uh, nicking the uh, units as well, which is good. I'm just going to uh, nuke it again. There you go. Pause it. Um, 
Right, let's get this light mash driver. That seems to be uh, shooting at me quite a bit. Got 81 health, so that's going to be first to go. And pretty much we can just uh, pick it off now because it's got it's got nothing to shoot back at me with. So this might be an opportunity to uh, do a bit of manual shooting. So we can just fly around it like this. Or you can just do it manually. Well, automatic like this. It does seem to fire at a faster rate with uh, manual mode. I think, I, I do think the ship might have an energy. Let's uh, pause it a second. So we've got energy there. See, we have got energy for the guns, so maybe... Yeah, maybe I'm using some of my energy up. Oh, that was good. Okay, head out now. We've uh, cleared it up. Let's get back to the system map. There's nothing there for me to loot. Okay, now you've won your first battle, you should move on to the next tile to gather resources to build your ship. Once you've gathered uh, the resources, click on the ship button at the bottom to open the build menu, which is down here. Now, this is where the game gets a little bit twisty and interesting. So this is a shipbuilding uh, module. You will get uh, technology from unlocking stuff from blueprints and stuff, but you can also get um, some stuff to build just from having the resources. Okay. You can also move uh, built modules around on the left or sell them. Upgrade your ship now with new weapons. Uh, let's see, have I got enough to actually get anything? Uh, at first, only some modules will be available to be built. You'll have to unlock the rest by finding, buying, or stealing technology. Right, so I'm in a destroyer class ship at the moment. Um, right, oh, after this, the tutorial is programmed in, the current demo is finished. The final piece of info to keep in mind is once you finish this star system and go back to the star map, keep an eye on your crew members, numbers, and age. Yeah, that's what I said about earlier. That's, that's really interesting, the fact that you can actually die if you don't have enough pe people on the ship. <laughs> Um, I've got 157, so I've literally got, I haven't got enough to buy diddly squat, so we need to go and get some more upgrades. So, we've got two options to go here. Let's go here, and we're going to try and get some resources. So, this seems to be a chance thing, so we can either fly deep into the field and harvest as much as possible, or harvest the field, cautiously stay away from ambush bots. I'm going all in. Okay, we were we were lucky, we went all in. Now, I've got some extra money to spend now. So we've got 1,001, so I can get a phase cannon. Uh, fires a bolt of phase plasma, causing the enemy, the enemy target major thermal damage. Nice. Um, interesting enough, these guns here are forward mounting, which means they will only fire in the direction that you're facing. Ooh, something to bear in mind. We've got a graviton beam, can't afford that. Got a thousand and one. Hmm. So I can get plasma. I could get a freaking laser beam. Uh, I could get missiles, which is a one thousand one hundred. An ion beam. What does that do? Drains any enemy ship or module. It hits of energy. Okay. We've got launchers. We're gonna bomb launcher. Uh, chemical explosives. We've got a satellite beam. Launches a small light laser beam equipped with a satellite to guard the area. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we've got some system things. So we've currently got a fusion drive. So does this, does this mean placing more engines will make your ship movement stats better? Maximum speed, acceleration, turning speed. Place more non-engine modules will add weight to your ship. Okay. Now we have got a fighter bay, which is pretty good. That's 1,075, so we can't quite afford that. We've got armored structure, which means you can add more protect bits of your ship, or a defense gun, which shoots down enemy fighters, missiles, and mines. So I don't want to use any of them at the moment. So we can either go to allied base here or this bit, which is a planet. Let's go to the planet because sometimes you find some really cool stuff. All right, let's scan the planet for signs of life or technology. Okay, we. we uh, there's nothing much here. Beyond the fact the scans report an extremely thick and hostile atmosphere, I advise not landing here. Our shuttles will not survive. Okay, we're going to go to Robos Station. So we're going to go here, and then here. Okay, hailing incoming vessel. We're under attack by a scavenger fleet. Please assist. Right, so we can either help them or we can ignore them. Let's try and help them. Okay, so this is probably going to be a defense force of the station and me. That's the station there. You can see he's got plasma, defense guns, and that's about it. And the enemy are over here. 
This is where the friendly force is already over here. See, we've got a, we've got a carrier frigate, a chain frigate, chain frigate, and we've got some enemies. We've got a mine planter, fast frigate with a built-in mine launcher, another mine planter, another mine planter, and another mine planter. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to uh, we're going to use some missiles. Let's get near them. Let's try and uh, disable some of these. Um, where are they? Let's just launch that. Hopefully that's going to hit someone. Okay. I think we need to uh, launch a uh, fighter. And let's try and take some of these out. These are really uh, fast. Let's try and... I don't the mines getting, mate. Okay, let's go and try and uh, get back into the action. Let's try and help out over here. Do any of the uh, enemy... Well, do any of these ships need uh, healing up, I wonder? Let's have a little look. 600 health. 600 health. 650. Oh, we should be okay. I'm just going to hang around here, then. Okay, it's a bit intense. New technology connected though. We just got some new technology somehow. Oh, see him, see him fire the mines in then. Right, we've got another map. We've got another um, EMP. Right, let's try and use the drain ability on them. Come on. That is quite gnarly. Looks like some more enemies have spawned up at the top as well, so... I'm going to try and uh, take these out. Come on, here we go. And we can get some resources here as well, these yellow bits here, so... Let's grab them. And let's go back towards the station. Station... Oh, yeah, the station is under attack. I need to try and uh, help out here. Let's pause it for a second. Right, let's look in. Anything we can help. Uh, he's not that badly damaged. We're okay. Right, I'm just going to try and help these out then. My EMP is not ready yet. Uh, I can use my drain ability though. What, are the, what chips are these? More mine planters. Okay, I'm going straight into the mines. I think I might need to repair myself. Let's see. Permi plasma. Okay. Got a few resources there. More enemies. Alright, let's go down and try and assist. Go, 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 go. Right, let's get my EMP. Uh, now, is that a friendly? It is. Let's see if we can heal up the friendly. Did we f yeah, we did We did heal him a little bit. Not an amazing amount, but hey, at least we healed him. Let's get that one zapped. We've got mines just <laughs> flying towards me. Come on, this is what we want. Come on. It is going a bit hectic. So your weapons that do charge up, like the health and the uh, power-ups, as you can see down here, so I can heal for 50 damage at the moment. Um, let's heal up you again. You're, uh, you've been taking a bit of a beating. Come on. They're determined to get me with these mines. These mines are chasing me. Nice, got some extra resources. Right, I need to take some of these out. Uh, let's try and get you. Okay, I'm going to choose the drain ability on you. No, it's left click. 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 Come on. Come on, shoot him in the face. Well, let's try and... Take over control there. There you go. 
So I don't know if you, f you fire faster or not with this. Feels like I'm firing faster like that. Get away from me with your filthy minds. Right, let's nuke you. These are taking quite a bit of a, a beating. Right, let's repair you again. There you go. There's not many of them left now, I don't think. One or two. Let's try and take you out. There's two left. Come on, let's let's use this on him. Come on. Target him. One left. Let's target you. Come on. I'm going to stay stationary. Come on, come to me. There we go. All scanners show no contacts again, Captain. We're in the clear. Nice. Contact the station. Okay, the fleet has been pestering us for years. They finally mustered up the courage for a full-on assault. We don't have much to offer in recompost, but we'll try. Uh, what do you need? I'm going to say technology. We have an experimental module schematic we developed to defend from scavenging incursions. Alas, we didn't have enough time to build it. You can have this schematic. Nice. So I've got some new technologies. So let's go back to the system view. And we've unlocked some new stuff, a shield module and a chain gun module. Nice. Now we've got extra money now. So we've got 1,196. So we should be able to build some stuff. Um, I've got my eye on missiles. I've not used missiles before. I fancy these. Yeah, let's get these on board. Now, relatively long range. Now I think we can just add these to the ship like that. Then it's going to get built. Nice. Now we can go to the next sector. Okay, well let's, let's uh, risky again. Let's try and get some more resources. Nice. 784. Um, so we've got two sectors here. We've got here or here. Let's go down to this one. So we've got another asteroid field and then sector 7. We're going to scavenge again. Oh no. There's an ambush. Okay. We've been ambushed. We've been bamboozled. Okay, let's have a little look. Who's in here then? Who's in an asteroid field? Right, where actually are they? I can't actually see them. Okay. Um, did you see the missiles then? I think I think you probably did. It's quite hard to miss them. Right, let's fire that and get out of here. We'll try and get a little bit of... Right, we can get the ship out. Let's get the ship out. Okay, I'm using all the stuff I've got at my technology, at my disposal. Now, I think I've got, I've got the missiles at quite a good range, so let's just try and outrun these and see if my missiles will uh, take care of some of these. Now, I don't know if that's working or not. Let's uh, run and gun again. Go, 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 go. Come on, missiles. Are you doing your job or not? Well, we seem to be shooting them, but... It's not shooting a massive amount of missiles, but... Come on. Come on. I am picking them off. A little bit slower than, I, than I'd like, but let's try and try and change direction, confuse them. Nice. Oh, we got some good shots on that one then. Come on, some good shots on that one as well. We are whittling away at them. Nice. There's only uh, one maybe left now. Nice. Ho ho ho! In your face, scavengers. Nice. Now, do I need to heal up now, I wonder? Let's have a little look. Yeah, we did take a little bit of damage, so let's heal up some of these units. Um, can we heal this back one? 586. Right, let's go back to the system map. We got a pretty decent amount of resources then. 2,433. Yes, get in my belly. Right, so we can add a number of things now. So... 
We've got the shield module now. We've got the fighter bay. So the you could basically this 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 game strikes me as a game where it, there's no cookie cutter build for it. You can build. I I could build the awesome mobile that's just got a shield, loads of fighter bays, or I could build like the missile ship just full of missile turrets and yeah that would be pretty fun so we've got um the fighter bay now so i think we're gonna add that so we're gonna have missiles and fighters defending us we've still got 1300 so let us get shall we get a laser so this is what does it do low power beam turret mm, i don't really like the sound of that we have got the Graviton thing, which is... No, we don't want that. We've got the bomb. Mm, I think that would be quite difficult to use. Let's get um, a couple of defense guns. Now, can we mount a bit to a bit, if you see what I mean? So, we can. Oh, yeah, let's see how this... Oh, look at the... Um... Heavy cruiser class I am clusters now because I've added these new units onto it. Okay. Okay, let's get to this uh, next sector then. Oh, I'm excited now. I want to I shoot you in the face. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this handles now. Right. Let's get some uh, ships launched. Now, we have got the hangar on the side somewhere. Which one is it? It's uh, Fighter Bay. That one there. Launch the 10 small fighters. Fighters will engage enemy capital ships, also smaller targets, uh, like fighters, missiles, and mines. So that's going to be cool. Okay, let's plot a course over there. There goes me, uh, me ship. Oh, so we're moving a lot slower now. Now we've got the... Uh... <laughs> we're making it rain. Look at this. Ramming frigate. Oh, you know what? We're not having that. You can get away. Get away with you. Oh, they're all ramming frigates. Uh, well, let's, 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 um, let's drain you then. Look at them. Look at them ramming me. Uh, yeah, I think we need to do a bit of uh, emergency repairs here. I think we need to face, we need to face the ship a different way as well. All right, let's, let's get out of here. We're actually getting wrecked. <laughs> they are wrecking me. Look, stop ramming me. Stop ramming me. Oh, I've lost some of my ship. Right, we need to try and avoid these. Let's get right away. What have I got left? I've still got my missiles. Uh, let's use that energy thing on yet. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. But then that's also pretty annoying because I've just lost a load of stuff. My heavy plasma is wrecked. And yeah. Ah, yikes. That's pretty hard. Anyway, I'm not going to go through the whole map. I just wanted to show you a bit of the uh, the game, the possibilities with it. So this is Void Chip coming out in 2019. If you do want, if you do want me to see, uh, show you some more of the game, if there's any units or modules that you've seen me uh, hover over that look pretty interesting, let me know and I'll do another video on this. Anyway, thank you also to uh, Sidonian Games for sending me the key and thank you for watching. Don't forget to ring my bell and click that sub button while you're here and you will know when I've got new videos out. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you later.